A Volusia County man has filed a federal lawsuit against the Daytona Beach Police Department. The lawsuit alleges the man was wrongfully arrested and that officers used excessive force. The police department has cleared the officers involved of any wrongdoing. Investigator Lewis Bolden has the story and the dramatic video that could make a difference in court. These are Daytona Beach police officers wrestling 24-year-old Joe Marjorick Wilcox to the floor inside a Daytona Beach pizza shop. One officer sits on his back and handcuffs him, while another places a taser to the back of his head. You can hear Wilcox yelling. I thought it was a pistol, and all I knew was there was a weapon to my head, and at any moment, if he felt like it, there goes my life. It was a crowded Saturday night on Daytona Beach in June of 2019. As the bars closed, police started trying to get the crowd to disperse. Wilcox and his friends were among many waiting to get into a pizza shop when Wilcox says Officer Jerome Hassel asked them to leave. So I told the officer, but we're paying customers. You know, it's not like we're just loitering around here. According to the arrest report, Hassel checked with the manager and the manager stated that yes, Wilcox and his friends could stay. As Hassel was about to leave, Wilcox began to use profanity, according to the report. The video starts when Officer Hassel approaches Wilcox again, asking what he said. For that, yes, let's what'd you say? Out of here. You can't arrest me. You can't arrest me. That's freedom of speech. You can't arrest him. Hey, it's freedom of speech. Hey, that's freedom of speech. You can't arrest him. Get on the underground. Get on the ground. Wilcox was arrested that night for disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. But months later, a judge dismissed both charges, writing, the defendant's words were rude and offensive, but are constitutionally protected free speech. The arrestee had the total power to prevent what occurred. Mike Scudero is the executive director of the Coastal Florida Police Benevolent Association and represented the officers involved in the case. He says the officer arrested Wilcox, not because Wilcox cursed at the officer, but because the officer believed Wilcox's language could have incited a riot. He also points out that Daytona Beach PD exonerated the officers. Based on the outcome of the, the internal investigation, he was found to have acted within policy on that. Do you not believe that that is at all excessive? No, I don't think it's excessive at all. Had he just cooperated when he was told to put his hands behind his back, they don't go to the ground. Wilcox says the lawsuit is about justice. I'm ready to see true justice. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm ready to see the justice system not fail. Just two days ago, an attorney for the city of Daytona Beach filed a motion asking the court to dismiss the lawsuit. The judge still has not ruled on that motion. Getting results, I'm Lewis Bolden, News 6.